Okay, so as you can see here, you could pause this and read this for yourself if you'd like. Uh, this is the Takagawa camshaft. This is the Koso camshaft. These are my measurements that I took using a micrometer and and a caliper. Okay, so as you can see on the camshaft, I'll give you a chance to take a look at that. On the camshaft, you have your lobe. So this first one is gonna be your intake, which is usually gonna be a hair bigger than the exhaust. May not always be the case, but that's how it is with both these. Okay, so you have your intake and then you have your exhaust. So what you're doing is you're measuring from the very back or the heel all the way to the top of the lobe, which is the nose. Okay, so you get your measurement there and then you're measuring this half circle that you'll have in here before it starts its duration. Okay, that's where it slopes off all the way to the top and all the way down the other side. So you're gonna measure that half circle that's gonna get you your base circle. Then you take this number, your height, and subtract the base circle, and that's how you get your lift, that 4.89 millimeters. That is the lift, the overall lift. Okay, the duration is from the half circle, the edge of it, right to where it starts sloping off, all the way to the peak, okay? And then you'll times two. So from here to here, they're going off camera there. From here to here, where this starts sloping off, right at that half circle mark, to the tip of this. That is gonna be your duration. Okay, so as you can see here, I think I gotta sit down without falling. So as you can see, on paper, the Takagawa camshaft opens more. As we can see, the lift, 4.89, 4.79, 4.85, 4.93 on the COSO. Okay, so on the on the intake side, it's opening more than the COSO, but the duration is longer on the COSO. That's why everybody says the COSO makes more power. It stays open and lets air flow longer than the Takagawa. So the Takagawa is more towards a, a lot of torque. It's opening quickly and closing quickly. We'll put down some torque. And this is more overall power. You can rev out higher with this camshaft, the Koso camshaft, than you can with the Takagawa. But the up and at them, that first gear pull, second gear pull, it's a lot better than stock. Okay, so there you go. That is the measurements for the Takagawa camshaft and the measurements for the Koso camshaft. Okay. Okay, so now let you take a look up close on the quality is on each camshaft. Let's start with the Takagawa one first. Okay, you can see there, Takagawa, made in Japan. This bearing's made in Japan, assembled in Japan, Takagawa. Okay, so it does have nice bearings. There is no wiggle to these at all. Very high quality work. Very good machining. Okay, that is the Takagawa cam. And here is the Koso cam. You can see there. So 
You have that word, the words COSO right on top there. You see it in the light here. Okay, and on the bearing, made in Taiwan. Okay, same quality. Extremely nice. Okay, one thing that is kind of different you'll notice is right here on the end. Okay, so you see it has this little plate at the end, whereas on the Takagawa, it's just an open bearing at the end. And then you can also see you have this flat notch cut out on the Koso, whereas on the Takagawa, you just have this little groove cut out, you can see there. I'm sure that's maybe for balancing purposes or I'm not real sure. But you see it does have this little plate at the end. I'm curious, didn't understand what that is for. But anyway, there's a comparison of the Takagawa cam versus the Koso cam. Again, make sure you go back and pause the video. You can look at those measurements for yourself. Um, when you look at it online, you know, the, the talk, the, uh, COSO, you know, it says 240, you know, cam. Well, I don't find those numbers anywhere in here when I measure, you know, so, I mean, I'm not sure what, how they use, I mean, again, this is all new to me, you know, I'm not a, a mechanic or anything. I'm just a guy in his garage making some videos. So put some information out there. So in real time, those are the measurements that I took. Uh, those measurements you could take on any camshaft for these bikes and you would get the numbers that you could compare one to the other. Okay, so on paper, the COSO camshaft stays long, open longer than the Takagawa camshaft. But on paper, they are pretty damn close as far as how far they open or the lift but it is very clear I mean when you look at the COSO cam the duration on the exhaust 51.46 millimeters the duration on the exhaust lobe on the Takagawa 43.22 millimeters these are all in millimeters all my measurements millimeters okay so I mean it's a big difference so we'll see how that translates on the bike once we get it on there and ride it with the new head setup. So anyway, that's my video. I wanted to put some information out there for you guys for this Koso cam and this Takagawa cam. The Takagawa cam is, you look online, it's a very mysterious cam. It doesn't, there is not a lot of information out there about it. I could not find measurements on it like you can for the uh, DCR cam or the Kotako. Uh, Kotako makes two different cams. They have a, a Type 1 and Type 2. Um, you can find those measurements everywhere, but the Takigawa, even in the forums, people talk about it, can't find it. Okay, so that's my measurements. You can compare that to any other cam if you had it in front of you and you're able to measure it the same way I did. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and keep watching the videos for more to come. Have a good day.